Uh, hi everyone, we're uh, here on Ocean Fox today and I have Leo with me who is the head ranger for Stinapa. Yes. And Stinapa stands for? Um, Foundation National Park. Yep. And you actually look after, the organisation looks after two different things, doesn't it? One is the marine environment yes. around Bonaire and the other is the actual national park yes. at the north of the island. Exactly. Yes, and exactly. you're responsible for the. I'm the acting manager at the moment for the marine park. park. Yes. And uh, so, what does that really entail? Because obviously, we're aware that there's uh, when you come here uh, on your yacht, you uh, tend to pick up a mooring buoy because you're not allowed to anchor. That's yep. a no-no, isn't it? Yep. And uh, here we were saying that there's about 40 mooring buoys. Uh, yes, we have 40 mooring buoys out here. When the boats get here, uh, most of the boats get here at night, in the evening, yeah. okay, or early in the morning, they pick up a buoy, there is no market, there is no reservation, there is nothing. They pick up the buoy here, and after that, they, in the morning, they go and check in at the uh, Harbour Village Marina, that's where they check in, register and everything, and from there on they continue. Yeah. The mooring here costs um, um, $10 overnight. Yep, yeah, that's okay. right, $10 overnight, yeah, $10, 10 dollars per night. Yeah. And uh, there's a little bit of tax on there, isn't there, or something? Yeah, probably there is. Um, um, there is a uh, tax on the service. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what. That's okay. what it is. And so uh, you're um, th now. There's two lots of mooring boys, isn't there? There's the mooring boys that we use for our yacht, and then there's all the dive boys. Uh, yes, we get actually we have three. Right. Okay. okay. We have three. We have first. We have the one that you guys are on right on now. The road yes. Along the front of the town here. Yes. Okay, very nice in the shallow. If you look down, you can see the bottom. It's you can incredible. See fish. You very can see nice. It's it, it must be about six meters deep here, and you can see straight to the bottom, and you can see everything that is on the bottom. It's incredible. Yes. Yeah. So these are the, what we we call these overnight mooring. Yeah. These are managed by it belongs to um, the Bonaire uh, Marine Park. Yeah. They are managed by Harbour Village Marina. Yeah. Okay, we also have the mooring for the dive boat. That's another group of mooring. Those mooring are allowed to use by boat. They are public mooring for two hours and the boat is not allowed to be more than 13 meters. Okay, so uh, if you go to one of the dive buoys, uh, yeah. what, uh, how do we distinguish between the two different buoys? Well, um, these, bo these um, buoys, there is a little um, red and white buoy. Yep. Okay, on the line, and yeah. if you go to the public one, it's a it's a long yellow PVC pipe with the name of the dive site on the buoy. Oh, okay. Then you know you are the right dive site. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, the yellow ones, tall yellow ones. Uh, yeah. They got a name on the side. So if yeah. you were looking through the uh, dive bon air catalog and you said, oh, that's the place I want to go, you could yeah. actually go and find that buoy. Yes. And uh, you would know that the. The, in that area is whatever you want to go and look at. Yes, so you go yeah. in the, the area mm -hmm. and then you just um, pick up if your boat is no longer than 13, Thir meter, 13 meters. You can just pick up the line, yeah. tie it onto the mooring for yeah. two hours. Yeah. You can do your dive or you can snorkel a little yeah. bit, but for two hours you're allowed to use the mooring. Yeah. And after two hours you take off the next one come. You can go to the next one or to the next one for another two hours. Okay, and is there a fee for using those dive no, moors? There no. is no, no fee, fee for using those. Uh, dive They're moors. absolutely free. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and you have something in the region of how many? Um, I think we have about ninety-six to one hundred. About hundred uh, boys. Yeah. So, so yeah. could I, for example, because I'm not a diver, but could I just take my boat over there? Have lunch for a couple of hours on one of those boys. Yes, you back? can go have lunch for two hours. Two hours. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> That's the secret. Yeah. You can yeah. go to any one you like, but no longer than two hours. No longer than two hours. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And, I, I haven't and really been boats, boats are not allowed to stay on those um, morning for overnight. No. Okay. No. Only for daytime. Okay. Okay. And the idea is because we're not allowed to anchor here. Mm -hmm. So uh, why why aren't we allowed to anchor here? Well, the reason why you're not allowed to anchor here because we don't want people to drop an anchor in and drag the, the coral. Right. Because car, uh, anchor have to hook somewhere down yeah. on the bottom, and then once it, it don't hook, it just take all the coral down. Yeah. So we don't want that to happen. Yeah. They used to anchor here in the past. This area here it used to be from the 
enter the marina, okay, all the way to the to the Tompi where people was allowed to anchor. But after that, we put a nice mooring block. Some yeah. of them even have a, a pin, a drill mooring down in the bottom. Oh, okay. So what okay. actually sort of into the seabed? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I know. I've been out and had a look at mine, and I've got three concrete block blocks. Yeah. Uh, two of which I've got separate mooring lines on, mm -hmm. and I've put one mooring line on each bow of the boat. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So I feel, I feel pretty secure because I've got, I know I've got basically two moorings. Yeah. 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 It's That's good. the way we make the mooring with two concrete blocks or sometimes three concrete blocks. Yeah. And how do you maintain the uh, moorings? How do we actually know that they are maintained and Well, um, these are managed by Harbour Village, yep. so they do maintenance on these. We do, uh, we do help Harbour Village Marina do maintenance on these. If they need our help to dive down, to change the line and things like that, we come over and help them. The dive site. Every year we change the bottom line yep. from the from the concrete block or from the pin, drill yep. pin, all the way up to the buoy. Yep. And then we also put the pickup line. Yep. The pickup line we change two or three times a month. It depends how often boats run over it or... Somebody must road. be doing an awful lot of splicing. Yes, we do a <laughs> lot of splicing. Yes. Uh, do you do? Do you have the facilities all in house, or do you subcontract some of these facilities? No, we do our everything yeah. ourselves. So, yeah. so how do you? If you uh, you've got a screw that goes into the seabed or a block, how do you actually uh, put that in place? Um, we do have a compressor yeah. with a big uh, drill head. Yeah. And with you know with the hose, we have the compressor on the boat, and then the hose go down with the head. We are, it's a it's a six foot. Um, pin. Pin. Wow. Yeah. So we yeah. put a head on it and yeah. it just turn drill down to the bottom of the ocean. Oh, cracky. It go down for about uh, five feet down five at feet. the bottom. And you, you've got your own divers, have you, that go and yes, do this? Yes, we do it ourselves. Yeah. 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 Well, that's quite impressive, really. Yeah, we are all around. We have, at the moment, we are total of uh, seven um, a ranger. Yeah. With a chief ranger with yeah. me. Um, the um, active manager. Right. So we do the job. And how many, uh, how many people are? Is it just the seven of you that manage all the moorings, or are there yes, a, a we bigger do, team of them? Yes, we do. We do the mooring. Yeah. And apart from the moorings, is there anything else you cover? Um, beside of the mooring, we also do a lot with construction on the shoreline. Right. Okay. When government give permission for um, construction, they always come for advice yeah. and we always have to check when people do construction that everything go right that no cement water run into the ocean yeah, yeah, yeah. you know that no garbage fly into the ocean yeah. what kind of material yeah. they use near the ocean so we don't get things washed into the ocean yeah. so we do have more things we have to do because beside of on the water we also have from Ramsar area you have wet, a, uh, Ramsar area, wetlands. Oh, yes, like yes. Like Lac yes. Bay uh, with mangroves. Yes, 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 yes. Seagrass bed and yeah. all those things that we also have to... Uh, Look up environmentally. Yeah. And also you have to uh, find ways of allowing people to do the sports and activities that they want to do here. For example, uh, windsurfing, kite surfing, diving, snorkeling. These are all things that people want to do in this most beautiful environment. Uh, yes. I mean, like I always tell everybody, mo most of the people that come to Bonaire, about 99% of the people that come to Bonaire have something to do with the water. Yeah. Either uh -huh. they just go in for a swim, yeah. or they go in to snorkel, yeah. they do something with the water. Yeah. Okay? So that's, you know, we have people that dive, and then you get the other activities. Kayak, windsurf, kite surfing, um, uh, anything. That they have to do with the water. Yeah. You know, they do here. Yeah. And that all comes under your control? Yes, that's or, or under your our control, our, our supervision. Yeah. Yes. Since 1992, um, no, let me go back. Since 1979, the government of that time have declared the water around the island of Bonaire a marine park. Right. Okay. And in 1992, they say, okay, people who want to use the marine park have to pay a fee. Yep. Okay, and they came with a lot of laws, okay. and they put it all in the book for us. Okay, and in 1992, the first divers start to pay what we call the nature fee. Right. At that time, I say remember it was ten dollar, uh -huh. and after that they changed it a couple years later in 2005 
that the people that snorkel and also do other activity also have to pay. Okay. The diver then pay $25 and the other user pay the $10. Okay. So this is actually to use the water to use around the Bonaire. To use the water around Bonaire. Okay. Yep. So everybody, the people are going for swim, people that use a the kayak, they have to pay. Yeah. Leo, 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 thank you very much for no chatting to us. I found that really interesting actually that uh, so much is done to look after the environment and uh, a lot of work is put into protecting the environment and also providing mooring buoys and uh, safe activities. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank Anytime. You. Thank you. You guys know where I am. Thank you. <laughs>